Torresella. Torresella. Uh, this one, this the wine that I did braise the onion that go with the liver is Pinot Noir. The reason does well with this is the liver is a kind of meat that again is what is sound, which is very gamey and yeah. very bold. Yeah. It has a very delicate flavor. So Pinot Noir is the perfect wine, very well balanced to pair with our liver. So what yes. we're gonna do, I would love to make a little toast and see if we nail this on the head or not. Have a good feeling. I have a good one. Yeah. Okay. To you, Fabio. To you and Venice. Cheers. Cheers. Perfect. I mean, the wine itself is awesome. Mm, perfect. It's delicate, it's not too strong. Right. And the good news is that chances are it will not overpower the flavor of the liver. We should, I should, we should try actually. I want to try a piece with the wine right. together. In the liver, the mineral is a, is a very high content of iron and mineral meat. Yeah. It does phenomenal with the wine. And you realize that because when you have them together, it kind of cleans your palate mm -hmm. and enhance the flavor. They're all amplified. Right. I love it. Yeah. We did it. You're good. Awesome. Thank you so much, Fabio. Thank you. And thank you all for watching Celebrity Wine Review TV's tour of Italy. I have to say, you have made a liver believer out of me. A liver believer. I want to make a t-shirt. I am a liver believer. I love it. <laughs> well, amazing. Uh, shall we toast to that? Absolutely. Is there a special carnival toast? Yes, you can say something like uh, Buon Carnevale a tutti, which means Happy Carnival to everybody, and just like in the best Italian tradition, Salute. Okay. Salute. Buon Carnevale a tutti. I could not say that in myself. A lot of forest, a lot of mountains. Right. You know, you don't think about a white wine there. One of the number one white wine in the United States is a Pinot Grigio from Santa Margherita from Trentino Alto Adige. And if you think about the pairing between this food and this wine, it makes perfect sense. It smells delicious. This is just a dumpling. You ever had fried sage? Fried sage? Fried sage. Never. It's like my answer to vegan bacon. Really? Ooh, that's awesome. It's delicious. Mm. The canardelli is a dumpling made out of bread, little flour, smoked prosciutto, and uh, cheese. Now, underneath, we have some salami polenta. Salami is a great cold cut. It's very versatile. You can almost treat it like bacon for, you know, for us Italians. And polenta is ground corn. It's a earthy dish. When outside is cold, uh, this is the dish that you want to do. And since this dish is so rich, uh, yet very nice and balanced, the Pinot Grigio cleans your palate. Okay. Ready? Very rich. Mm. But it's like a little bite of heaven. Wow, that now, is Now let's try the wine again. Okay. Perfect. It, gets, it takes Perfect. away the coating yeah. from the little butter, the polenta. This was so delicious. I, I say we finish it all. I, I, let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. Is there a specific toast that you would like to end? Trentino to Adige is a cold reason. Mm -hmm. Very well known for the ski scenario. And so one thing they always say is that quando è freddo, bevi vino. Which means... In English, that's when it's cold outside, drink wine. pasta, rolled it, and cut it. Fresh? Fresh, from scratch. I didn't know you could do that. I thought you'd buy it in the little box. And... I'm a chef, so <laughs> chef can do that. You did good. I said, you know, it's an important wine. You have a cocktail dress. I cannot just come up with two simple things. I had uh, farm um, cage-free quail, mm -hmm. and I braised them with red wine. Of course, no. Not the, the Barbaresco. Not the no? Barbaresco. Yeah. yeah, I mean, 
I, I gotta do this. Of I'm course. sorry. You know, we're we're Thank talking, you. but we, we have to do this because this wine open sitting is that like is perfect. A, it's like a gorgeous car parked in the garage. And I'm not putting a sip here. I'm drinking. I tried to combine the boldness, the strength, and the earthiness of this wine with the spice in the food. Lots of pepper, red wine, veal demi glace, which is a very thick veal reduction, some rosemary, mm -hmm. strong, bold wine. That this dish is like, is as yeah. bold as this wine is. Okay, well, let's get to that in a second. I've got to taste this. Salute. Salute. Okay, totally lives up to all the hype from before. That is good. I'm that is happy. good. I am very happy with yeah. this let me, let me serve you some of this. Okay. What you want to do is this. You get the quail. It's a high-end chicken. It's a high-end, mm. small version of a chicken. And look. O-M-G. Wow. Yeah, I'm with the angels, they're flapping their wings. I think at this very All moment, you have to carry the show on and keep talking. I'm busy drinking. Wow. Well, this is a very special wine, which calls for a special toast. What do you got for me? Well, what I would say is uh, per gli amici, per il cibo, and per il vino, which means for new friendship, mm -hmm. for awesome food, and amazing wine. Awesome.